Thanks, Will. So in the kitchen this morning, Go Providence has brought a chef's fr Franco Paterno from the Bluefin Grill. And I'm telling you, I just got in here and I said to Chef, the smells are absolutely incredible. Well, thank you so much. So whatever thank you. you've been doing, <laughs> I mean, A++++. plus plus plus. So what are we making today so, in the kitchen? Great, thank you. Um, so today uh, we're actually going to do a caramelized cauliflower steak, you okay. know. Uh, it's going to be a helpful entree for those that may enjoy a plant-based diet or right. people who uh, are looking for that kind of uh, item. So The colors are gorgeous in the, here because usually in so, the winter you don't think these gorgeous, vibrant colors, but no, they but are. No, but they are. And the taste you'll see are even, even better than the colors. So the start of the show is the cauliflower, which uh, is a member of the cabbage okay. family. Uh, very, very nutritious for you, right? Uh, and it can be uh, used in many different applications. Okay, from broiling to grilling to uh, sautéing. Which is a great point. Today we're going to take it, we're going to cut it, uh, sear it, and okay. then finish in the oven. Pairing it, the key to this dish is the, the little bit of sweet and sour, little relish that kind of comes with it. Lots of herbs, mint, uh, tarragon. We have uh, parsley, and with it we yeah, have the sweet and sour. Have. So these are kind of we have the sweetness coming from these little golden raisins. These okay? are a beautiful are, color. Beautiful color. And they're pumped up with a little bit of hot water just to kind of rehydrate them. We also have some uh, pine nuts, which okay. are seeds of the pine tree. They have a very fragrant smell and very smells earthy really good. Uh, tone. So throughout, to that, we're throughout gonna the add, show, we're going to, we're going to obviously throughout the show, be able to come back and show this, but we want to do teas. We want to tease you, get their, their appetite wet, show you what ingredients we're going to have. Come back and we'll show you how gonna, to do it. We're going right? to come Straight back up. with Will and show you guys how to do it. So All back right. to you, Will. Right, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. <laughs> Chef Franco Paterno's here. Bluefin Grill uh, is is the restaurant. This guy's happy because usually he brings in seafood. He knows he's a seafood lover. This, I love this. Finally, something <laughs> I can you can have you taste. Perhaps I know you I'm, might I'm, be able to make it. I am a tough. I'm a tough, tough customer. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do. I love. I love. love yeah, I like well, cauliflower. Terrific. Because yeah. uh, then today you 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 you'll love this one. So, uh, what we're gonna make. Right now is we're gonna mm -hmm. make this little relish, this pine nut and golden raisin relish. Sounds that will good. be the flavoring agent for the cauliflower. Okay. So if you want to help me, kind yeah, yeah, you be the yeah, chef okay, now, I'll, right? I'll, so you're gonna taste I'll it. Swing on over this okay, way. So you get the pine nuts and the golden raisin. You can help me put them in here. Dump them right there. All those in there. Okay. Anybody who hasn't had pine nuts before, they are so good. They have such great. Right. Like, and if you toast them a little bit, that fragrance really yeah, pops. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Comes right. Dump all in there. So those two are the main ingredients. Then sample of these. We're gonna flavor. We're gonna give it a little uh, acidity, okay? We'll give it a little lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Go right in with that. Pull that in. Looks good. And we've kind of did a little zest because the zest is really where the lemon flavor lives, okay? Sure. The oils in the lemon is what really, if you smell that, really that fragrance really pops out. It smells so good. So pop that in. Got it. And then finally, we're gonna get a nice blend of herbs. We have mint, we have parsley, and cilantro. Nice combination. Dump them in. You've this blended is, all of them together, shredded yeah, it all up. Shredded it all up. Put that Put in. in. Okay. Good. We need a little garlic, obviously, because uh, you know we're the Mediterranean region, <laughs> and so you got to put a little bit of garlic. Everybody's in. Everybody's good with a little garlic, right? So that goes in. Right. I'm gonna have you mix that up. Okay. I'm gonna. We're gonna put a little bit of salt. A little uh -huh. kosher salt. It almost Some looks olive like olive oil. It has that old look of like a tabbouleh or something like Correct. that. Correct. Right? Yeah. Well. There you go, a little a cup of olive oil. Look at how delicious that looks. We do a little pepper for mm -hmm. you. And this is the flavoring that you're going to put on top of the, that the is cauliflower. That's going to give you, because you know, cauliflower is great, but it needs a little help in the flavor, flavor right? So we're going to give this a chance to let it all soak together. Mm -hmm. So we will put that back, uh, we'll put this together. We will uh, be back in just a little bit, mixing, making the cauliflower and talking about the restaurant for the holiday season. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, thanks to GoProvidence.com, Chef Franco Paterno is here from Blue Fin Grill. Caramelized cauliflower steak with brown rice, arugula pine nuts, and golden raisins is on the is on the menu. On the He's menu. happy because I like this. It's not seafood. I'm all good. You will taste this today. I okay. will taste this. So today. we have the cauliflower here, a nice large head. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it, take the stem off. Get that okay. out of the way. Then do a nice center cut. Go right down the middle. Okay. With this, we're gonna utilize. The, the the primary core part of the cauliflower. Okay? You're gonna take a you, good slice. Yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna go for a nice because this is uh, again we're calling it a steak. You want to stay intact, remove a little bit of the base. Yep. Okay, we're gonna take it. A little oil on there. A little oil on the pan. Good. We're gonna do a little salt. 
Okay. And a little bit of black pepper. There we go. Just right on top? Right on top. Good. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So we're going to cook this. Let's turn the yep, fan. We'll flip the fan on for you. Yep. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, I love that. You know, smell. I have to admit, when, I, when I heard them say it was going to be cauliflower steak, I was wondering exactly what you meant by that. But when so you cut off a big chunk out of it, it's steak. Nice. steak. So oh, this is it's a nice hearty meal uh, that can be utilized. In fact, we're introducing this in our new menu mm -hmm. uh, as an entree oh, for okay. vegetarians right. and for people that enjoy that kind of thing. Right. Um, Perfect. So we are. Uh, and did you want me to start with the quinoa in, in, in the uh, pan? Yep. So. Once it's caramelized, we will put it in the oven to finish the cooking process. It does take about 10 minutes to fully cook. Okay. okay. Yep. With the steak, we're pairing it with giving it some nice, healthful grains today, okay? So if you yep, put a little some. oil in there. How much should I, Zachary? Right about there is okay. good. Okay. So we're going to put some quinoa, which is a very uh, healthful grain, okay? It's very popular today. We're mixing that with brown rice, okay? That's just straight brown. Straight brown rice. Again, okay. trying to really maintain a very healthful dish here. Right. This was the... And just mix this all up? All good foods. All good stuff for you. So, everything really is. Yeah. Like but if you just give this a little shake every okay. now and then. This you want to be sure to have enough color before we proceed and put it in the oven. Okay, so we're going to take a peek minutes, in there. Right? As you can see, it's gotten some color. A little brown on the outside. A little outside. brown on the outside. And so now, once it's done like that, we're going to put a little bit of time for added flavor. Okay. And now we're going to splash it. We're going to put a little bit of water to help the finish the cooking process. Whoa. Steam it up. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to go right in the oven with this. Okay. Oh, okay. You shaking that over? That? In the oven for about ten. This is why I'm not good in the I'm kitchen. I'm wondering how you are here. Fired. Here, give it a little, a little gentle stir. Okay, now to the can, to I... the quinoa. We just again we're going to flavor it. Okay. A little pepper. Mm -hmm. And a little salt. So this really is somewhat of an easy okay. dish to make at home. Simple to do. Yeah. Well, this can all be pre-cooked. You know, the right. grains can right. be, which is you know, shrines of life. Uh, we're going to take and actually dress the top of it with a little bit of arugula salad, okay? Uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of vi vibrancy in right. the dish, okay? So we're going to take baby arugula, a little splash of lemon. Oh, squeeze that in. A little These salt. Are my, a little salt. My favorite scents. Oh, like that. So and just good. a splash of olive oil, just a, like a little salad, basically. Delicious. You're making, okay. Some pepper. Okay. Perfect. And that will be a little Mix topping that. for the steak. That okay. looks good. That's, That's my really kind good. of easy. Yeah. Time. All right. That's so amazing. Amazing. Look at that. One, two, three. Done. So that is the part. Now, okay. you can maybe say, well, what the heck? You know, now you're going to eat a whole steak, and then what about all the other cows? And you're not going to throw it away. All right. Right. So you're going to make good use of it. This can be handled with, you can do uh, a nice cauliflower bisque, which is a tremendous dish oh. that you can do. You can do even like roasted cauliflower little pieces. Okay? I love that. Uh, so you'll definitely uh, you'll you'll utilize it. You're, you're, you're not going to waste, not gonna waste, waste it. any of this not, stuff. Right. Absolutely not. That will not happen. Okay? So while the other stuff is in the oven, we have this stuff here. She's working on that. Talk to us about, about the restaurant itself because people are looking for uh, holiday choices to go out uh, to out for dinner. Any time of year, and you, you have a great so, choice. Absolutely. So obviously at the Mary, we're really getting ready for New Year's Eve at this point. That's yeah. our yeah. big push for the year. Uh, we have many different packages uh, that we sell for, for in combination with uh, the Grand Ballroom sure. or the restaurant. Uh, we have our signature event in the Grand Ballroom. This year is come get your sparkle on. You know, you know come and see right. us, okay? Uh, it's a big event in the Grand Ballroom. 300 tickets people. Are still available. Tickets are still available, but they do sell fast. All it's right. full of entertainment. Uh, so get Great your food. tickets now. We've got to see and this final dish. This is so the final, final dish. right? We'll show you in just a little right? bit, but it's...